after an exhausting day, I was pretty confident, so I picked up my AN94 and jumped straight into TV station without any hesitation. I didn't do any warm up, I didn't do any covert, straight into the game TV station. My spawn wasn't ideal, I don't like this spawn. I think it's a bad spawn because I'm far away from hot zones, from the action, and therefore I decided that I'm gonna go to the post production room, not expecting any fights in the early game. After entering the corridor, which leads to the post production room, I started hearing noises, I turned around, and bang, instantly, instantly I got a headshot, but I was only happy for a second because I saw this T5 chat showing up and I was absolutely sure I hit his head, but he didn't die. And instead watching the door, I started healing myself, which was a deadly mistake. So shady note for myself, in the future, if you are being slightly damaged, please do not start healing yourself. Clear the area, make sure you are safe and then start healing. Obviously my confidence dropped so I picked up a basic kit, a shotgun and was awaiting a miracle. I knew that there's somebody gonna be here because I saw the footsteps but I didn't expect them to be in the infirmary room. I had a, a free kill, almost free kill at the beginning and that guy was only not. I was not even thinking on how he got here, which was a mistake. How can it happen that he was already inside by the time I arrived and then I quickly found out the teammates just didn't spawn one of the teammates spawned in front of me and this is how I died I need to be cautious I need to be more cautious I need to check the area even if they didn't spawn yet I need to have the assumption that Knocked enemy means more danger, you cannot start looting. With full loss of confidence, I started the third game with a Shori and I didn't even have a Dum Dum, it was the T3 purple ammunition and I went into the game in the hope that my teammates are gonna do something and maybe I can pick up something and at least extract with something instead of facing another failure. And after the first gunfight, I was feeling terribly bad inside. I couldn't even kill that guy who was running into my crosshair. I almost died. He was the one like breaking my legs, but then fortunately, due to my teammate, I could somehow finish him off. He didn't see me hiding behind this box, but this is all just because I had teammates. I would have died if I'm solo here. After spending a thousand hours healing myself and picking up some stuff from the bodies, I started moving to the staircase and surprise, surprise, there was a guy attempting to run to the staircase and he had no freaking clue that I'm going to destroy him with my G18C, which I just looted. And this guy had a 4 worth 75,000, which instantly made my day. However, he was running with T3 bullets, so I wasn't super satisfied, but at least I had something to play with. I made my way upstairs, but then I saw somebody flipping the warehouse switch, so I was like, hmm, okay, I have my new location and I'm gonna camp. I was spending at least five minutes sitting there and camping and ratting, but the only guy who came was a bot, so I was pretty much upset and frustrated. I was clearing general office, checking the save and everything I could and then I started hearing footsteps fight coming from the first floor so I thought now is the time to check the warehouse again. But unfortunately I arrived late and by the time I got there this guy already extracted. Without knowing if there are any further enemies in the lobby I moved to the director's office and opened that door. That door, you know guys with the electric key and again no weapon, no weapon. But checking the safe compensated my feelings because I found a G necklace. Before extracting I wanted to check the middle area for the free safes and then something happened, something I wasn't aware of. There is actually a switch, a switch that if you pull that then the whole room is gonna be flooded with gas. I didn't know that. So two minutes before the extraction, I almost killed myself. I almost died in the middle of the map with my G necklace. A note for myself and for everybody who is reading this diary, do never ever pull that switch. I extracted with a juicy 700,000 starting with that advanced kit. It's not that bad. 
The next game revives some nice memories. We've been spawning in the warehouse and my team decided to run upstairs quickly. I obviously stayed behind because I was greedy. I wanted to open the safe, the infirmary room, so I did. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything useful, so I wanted to join my squad and as I headed into the staircase, two guys were standing in front of me and I had literally no clue who those are and I think they were also surprised that I'm behind them. This is one of the moments where our brains just froze. I thought that my teammates came back and I think they had absolutely no clue who's behind them. Such moments don't happen often in Kamuna, so I was slightly happy. Until the point, Zeke will inform me that there are enemies coming through the alternate pass. And I was thinking, bring it on guys, I have an SMG, you have an H4 or a Fall or an M4, I don't care, I'm gonna destroy you. So I threw a nade, I was about to rush that guy, but then somebody, his teammate, shot me from the other side. And it reminded me that you are not a hero, Shady. You died again. This led to serious frustration, so I decided not to do TV station today. Because yes, I still have two or three attempts to open the main guest room in the motel on farm. So I equipped the trash loadout and my only goal was to rush motel. But my spawn wasn't ideal and we quickly found out that there is a squad already entering the motel. But I was lucky because I could get one guy, one headshot before he was able to enter the motel. Since this was a squad, I couldn't just simply secure my loot. I was positioning myself next to this window and it was such a lovely feeling to see this guy sneaking inside and destroying him with my Scarrel without even giving him a chance to shoot at me. Unfortunately, even after having two kills, I still wasn't safe. I got naded, I got heavily injured and I knew that guy is gonna rush us, rush me or rush Zequel. He decided to go to the left. He killed Zeke. Well, by the time I got there, the only thing I found was dead drop bodies because my teammate arrived and he killed the guy who killed Zeke. Well. So unfortunately, there was nothing for me to be done. Zeke got an instant headshot. There was no way to revive him. And it's always a very devastating feeling if you have your teammate dying next to you and there's nothing you can do about that. I cleared my mind and wanted to focus on the primary objective, which is the main guest room. This is why I'm here on the map, so I quickly wanted to loot the bodies I've been dropping. And unfortunately, again, the lesson I will never learn. Always expect to have one more enemy. A guy called Obatala was cold-bloodedly looking into my eyes from the basement, making no noise and then ruthlessly waiting for the moment until I finished looting. By the time my brain realized that somebody is staring at me, I was already dead. I started a new game with M14 hopelessly, because by this time I already forgot that I found the G necklace earlier. I wasn't expecting this to be the raid of my life, but you know how it goes. You always have some hope. Every game you enter, you hope that you're gonna find red items having nice kills and extract with a million. So I had that feeling. And while we were pushing to the hotel, we knew that somebody must be there in the grass or near the broken bridge. And that somebody started shooting at my teammate and then instantly I died. I couldn't believe what happened. Watching the kill cam, I saw that he didn't even see me. He shot me by accident. I don't even know if he looted my body because I died because I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. But I dressed up again. After doing a bit of a gunfight, I was switching into super sneaky, super cautious and still I died. I was hiding in the bush. How come that somebody is by accident standing on the broken bridge, monitoring the area and finding me? I never ever find enemies like this. P.S. I never find enemies like this because I never do camp and never rat and never snipe. So in order to have such kills, I would need to start doing that, but I'm not gonna do that because for me, sniping, camping and ratting is just boring. It was already close to midnight, but I decided to do one more game, one final game with a shori, with Dum Dum and just simply rush the motel. So I did. I didn't care about my teammates. I didn't care about anything. All I cared about 
is to open the main guest room finally and find something special. And I actually did, there was a record player on the desk. But that's not it, I found a G Lion in the electric safe. Yes, yes, yes! I was stupid enough not to bring any coin into the battle, so after filling my bag with purple items, I started moving towards the villa. And usually it's very tempting to stop here and there, like the wheat field hut, just to check if there is any additional loot. So I did. What I didn't expect was enemies popping up near the wheat field hut. And I was actually surprised that I'm getting attacked. Thinking back about the situation makes me somewhat sad because I intentionally put myself into a position which was more safe compared to my teammates. So he died. I was the last man standing. Before running to the extraction I was checking villa in the hope for a second red item. But hey, this is arena breakout and it's not getting easier. Closing day 353, shady out.